For those of you out there in my audience who have been diehard Donald Trump MAGA supporters going all the way back to 2015, I have a question. And as a caveat, I'm not trying to troll anyone, not being accusatory or contentious or argumentative. It's a serious question, and I would like to see your replies down in the comments section. Now, there is no right or wrong answer here. It's just a question, something that has confused me about the entire message from Donald Trump and his supporters just in the last three to four years. After everything went down in 2020 and they inaugurated Joe Biden, many people out there were saying, well, see, we warned you, this was all rigged. The election was rigged and no matter how many votes Trump got, they were going to figure out a way to find more and there was no way he could win. Okay, I can understand that. There were some things that went on where that were absolutely abnormal comparing it to past elections, for sure. But then, over the summer, and especially about a month ago, Donald Trump came out and was talking to people in Pennsylvania. And he was bemoaning the fact that Christians and gun owners don't vote, or they vote as a percentage at much lower levels than other groups. And he even went so far as to say, Christians, get out and vote just this, just this one time and you'll never have to do it again. And it was a very quizzical thing because the two things are directly contradictory. Because, you know, even in, I don't care if it's football or any other sport or any other contest, if it's rigged, why would you bother? And if that was your message for virtually an entire year, all of 2021, I think people have just have amnesia about 2021. We're in 2024. Nobody's even talking about COVID or lockdowns or forced jabs or anything like that. But then the message is this. And vote early. This was even more crazy for me because one of the big arguments was it was that mail-in voting thing, that early voting thing, mail-in ballot thing, that was the primary driver of what Donald Trump was saying was the mechanism by which they rigged the 2020 election. But now he's encouraging his his supporters to go use that and be part of that if they have the ability to just assess however many votes he gets and then just cook up, if this is possible, I'm just saying allegedly here, if they have that ability, why then would it matter? And why would you then go encourage people to participate? In, in such a uh, corrupt system. Now, there was something that happened last night at Madison Square Garden that we have talked about over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel for a long time, and it's really rubbed a lot of folks the wrong way because it has to do with how morality has changed even within our lifetimes from going back to, like, say, the 1900s to now, the early 1900s to now. I mean, forget going back, you know, 150, 200, 300 years. And we're going to do another video on this because something happened. Eric Trump, Lara Trump walked out, and it was the perfect example of psychological operations that nobody really sees when they're right in front of them. That's the key. Now, if you'd like to join us, Florida Maquis Patreon channel, love to have you. One US dollar per month at the base level. And this next video we're going to do is going to be for everybody. We're going to get everybody in the same room. We're going to get the base level, the need to know people, the unit commanders, brigade commanders. Everybody's going to be in the same room for this one because we have been talking about this topic a lot. And there was a lot of pushback saying that Florida Maquis, I don't think this is true. And I showed examples. Going back 1950s, 1930s, 1920s, ni even 1980s. How you can think one thing when the exact opposite is true. Now, once again, if you'd like to join us over there, you have absolutely no risk. One US dollar per month at the base level. Brand new video going to be up next 24 to 48 hours is going to cover this topic. But it's even less than that if you sign up for an entire year. And it's full, no matter what level you're at, fully refundable. For the first 90 days, meaning now all the way past Inauguration Day. 
That's right. You could you could sign up now, and your pledges would go through until then. And if the day before that you decided, you know what, this isn't for me. Florida Maki, I gave you a chance, but it's just not for me. Full refund. Full refund, no questions asked. Now, you ready for a blast from the past? Who remembers this? You see, there's all sorts of people on the left saying how last night's rally resembled the 1930s uh, Nazis, 1960s Nixon, how it was just this uh, a fantasy fest of hate and accusation and grievance and um, racism and all this kind of stuff. But who remembers way back in 2008 when Barack Obama was going to accept his party's nomination to run for president that they they had to rent out in Vesco Field and then create these fake columns, this fake White House-ish looking backdrop for this speech. And Invesco Field is way, 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 way bigger than Madison Square Garden. And they had to bring in all these people and turned it into this giant show for just a nomination speech. I'm sure a lot of people forgot about this. Oh, where'd my article go? There you go. Obama's speech stage resembles ancient Greek temple. It was absolutely, there was multiple articles written about this. But it's something that I think is kind of a game that we could actually learn from in the past. Because it was only a few months ago, only a few months ago, when Lara Trump was setting the stage for a redo of everything that happened in 2020. Now, I know a lot of people out there think, oh, how could Donald Trump lose? Did you see the energy in that room? Did you see how many people were so excited? Well, I mean, how many people were actually there? 50, 60, I don't even know what Madison Square Garden holds, but I know that it's not enough to sway an election one way or the other. And this was in August. Dark specter hanging over the 2024 election is that possibility that Donald Trump will again declare victory on election night based on deliberately false accusations about voting by mail. You see, this is something that she said... um, just enough keep up, just enough mail-in ballots to reverse a Trump victory is being kept alive by Trump's daughter-in-law, the new Republican National Committee co-chair, Lara Trump, in an interview on Fox News. You cannot have ballots counted after elections are over. Now, I agree with that personally. And right now, that is one of the many lawsuits we have out across this country to ensure that just that happens, that we have a free, fair, and transparent election. So in Nevada, as you pointed out, we are saying we want an election day that to be the last day that mail-in ballots can be counted. So, if you believe that it was rigged in 2020, and that they still have the ability to rig it, wouldn't it make sense that Christians and gun owners would be like, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. It wouldn't matter if he got 100 million votes. They'll just cook up 101 million votes for the other guy. And I'm not making that up. That was Donald Trump's message for an entire year. For an entire year after 2020, that was the message. Also, the whole, you know, um, a COVID, uh, the election season variant has not materialized at all. In fact, nobody, if I had told you in 2021 that in 2024, in three short years, the election wouldn't have anything to do with COVID, wouldn't have anything to do with uh, jab mandates or people losing their jobs because of jab mandates or the forced masking of kids or uh, Anthony Fauci, that none of that would even be in the news. You'd have told me I was just crazy. You'd have told me I was insane. And on top of that, message part changing. It's a tough thing for me to read the comment section and understand where people are coming from. Because 
people say, okay, we want Trump to win because we want to be, a, be out of foreign wars, and we want a man of the people. And the biggest conflict, at least from America's perspective right now, going on probably is a tie, a horse race between Ukraine and what's going on in Israel. Well, one of Trump's biggest donors is Mary Madelson, the wife of billionaire casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, God rest his soul. But did you know there are 26 different billionaires? 26 different billionaires that are giving Donald Trump money and have to his PACs and to his election campaigns? 26 different. Trump's top billionaire donors. You can find this on Forbes. And I do think it's odd that his daughter, being married to a very wealthy, somewhat high-profile uh, Jewish person, is completely out. Now, I'm not going to you know, probably go through probably go through most of this, but basically the idea is this, is where the hell was she? And where has she been? We're seeing more of her than we're seeing of Ivanka. And now given I, she's the Republican co-chair, I get that. But you would have thought back in you know, 2020, 2021 that you wouldn't be seeing Lara Trump. You'd be seeing you know, Ivanka. Because there, there was even discussion of her being vice president at one time. So once again, but something occurred. Something occurred on stage. It was right after J.D. Vance spoke. And Eric and Lara Trump came out. And I saw this and I'm like, perfect Example. Perfect example of something that we have talked about over the Patreon channel that would really mess with a lot of people's minds. And it probably is a subject that for sure YouTube would demonetize me for, if not kick me off completely, so we're going to have to save it for over there. So, without trying to be contentious, I'm not trying to finger point this isn't a gotcha question. It would make perfect sense that anyone with a thinking brain, I guess, Christians, gun owners, would have believed Donald Trump when he said, see, I told you so. The elections are rigged, everybody. I was winning. I was way ahead. I was on my way to victory. And everybody went to bed, and then all of a sudden, at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the morning, all of a sudden, vote totals started changing. And then before you know it, by, you know, weeks later, then Joe Biden was going to be inaugurated, and I told you it was rigged. Is what the, That was his message. And he didn't say it once. He didn't say it twice. He didn't say it three times. He and an entire army of lawyers and surrogates, this was their primary message for virtually a year, at least. The only thing that knocked this message off of the headlines is when they raided Mar-a-Lago in 2022. And then it was election interference. So it went right from this to the raid of Mar-a-Lago and then election interference. And then all of a sudden, everybody forgot about this message. And, and now it's, it's get out to vote. Get out to vote and mail-in vote. And I'm just sitting here scratching my head. Like, which is it? And, and to put the icing on the cake was the, the preaching to the, the gun owners and Christians about not voting. I'm like, how can you blame them for not voting? How can you blame them for not... For, they were listening to you. That's the reason why. So I, you know, I'm just saying... I would like to hear if there's something I have missed, if there's something I've just absolutely gone over my head, I, I would love to hear it. But also, love to have you guys at the Patreon channel. Believe me, this is a video that you guys are going to want to see because it's going to confirm something we talked about years ago. A specific topic that I think um, would change a lot of people's perspective on where we are socially in this country. So I will leave it there. Like I said, 1, 5, 10, 15, there's content for everybody over there. No matter what level, whatever God puts on your heart, God bless. Thank you so, so much. You guys are standing in the breach, making the difference.
keeping this channel going here at YouTube. We wouldn't be here talking if it weren't for the folks that have stepped up over Patreon. So I'll leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.